I, I'm Malin, and today I just kind of wanted to talk about something different. I just wanted to kind of freeform while I go for a walk and get out of what I was usually doing to go into something different because the last video I did, it felt kind of forced. It felt off. Something just didn't feel right. And I started to realize that I was trying to give advice that I wasn't really aligning with, that I wasn't really like vibing with really. And I was starting to reach this period where the schedule that I was going through at the time wasn't really benefiting me. And I still enjoyed recording the videos, but just that video took a couple takes to do, which was unusual for me. And while I was talking, I had so many pauses and it felt so unnatural and weird. And I realized that I kind of have to change up like my schedule because, you know, some days like this, they're just a bit rainy and they're a bit dull and it's really cloudy. And I've just kind of been aware of like going into this season where it's like kind of colder and that and how it kind of affects my workflow and kind of my energy, especially like in the morning and at night. It's like I feel tired earlier and go like going to bed earlier, but I also feel like sleeping in a little bit more, which is weird. But then it kind of makes sense because like it's dark for so much longer. So of course I'm going to feel like there's kind of like that natural human evolution kind of point thing there. But then also I was looking at all these other different self-improvement YouTubers and I was kind of like, am I just kind of copying them? Am I just kind of following along with what they're doing? Or am I going to try and find out something for myself? Or am I going to try and give my unique perspective on it? Because a lot of the time with these self-improvement kind of YouTube videos and that, they're really great to watch and good to become aware of all these different problems in your life. but. The main point of these YouTube videos is for you to get off YouTube and for you to kind of find your own way and do your own experiences, you know, whether that's for me, it was like creating this YouTube channel and doing these YouTube videos or for others, it's like getting out, being more social or working out, getting a habit of going to the gym and that sort of thing. And it kind of made me realize that you can just get stuck in these videos of kind of like self-improvement, like masturbation kind of thing, which is where like the fight club thing comes in. You know, like the fight club quote, like self-improvement is masturbation. And I kind of realized that life is like really kind of fluid and you can't really pin it down to anything. And you can't pin it down to like this sort of schedule or anything. And I've tried to be more flowing and more receptive with it because in the past I keep beating myself up whenever I don't continue with the schedule that I thought was going to benefit me or when I don't continue to do the things that were, that were getting results because I felt too tired and I didn't want to change it up. I felt like I had to go harder to do it or to change how I was doing things because I felt like kind of like a failure if I didn't go full kind of throttle at it. <laughs> you just said get an umbrella um, and I guess not many people are kind of talking about this sort of thing they're kind of saying like follow these set ways these kind of rigid systems that work that kind of work in some situations and that can be beneficial to like kind of have a structure and have this thing to kind of work towards but <sighs> I don't know after a while these things kind of stop working and then you have to change it up and see what's like important to you sorry my arms just like sore and just realized I wasn't even on <laughs> that wasn't even on and I didn't even have the mic on for that but I was wearing it so that's just weird but um like walking out like for me feels so weird doing this but 
I know that it's beneficial for me because it means something to me because that's why that's why I'm scared of it like if you weren't scared of these sorts of things then you would probably you know it wouldn't show that you it wouldn't show that you would care it doesn't mean that it means anything to you and like sorry I just need to like take a breath because this is like getting to me and I'm feeling a bit flustered from this I guess what I'm trying to say is that with self-improvement and these sorts of things you can only do find out what works for you and try out what works for you because for me following rigid kind of structure works somewhat but then there comes like this point where like I kind of need to change and adjust and, and if I'm reliant on this rigid kind of schedule that I have to follow then you know I kind of fall apart when I'm in a different scenario when I'm in a different environment or when I'm not feeling the same as I did before and I was just kind of coming like kind of feeling bogged down by like doing the same thing over and over and I know like the basics do get you the results and the basics do help you know you got to repeat some sort of basics to get better at a skill that's kind of like a necessary that necessity that's like a part of mastery but no there's no buts like I still need to record these videos it's just that I'm changing it up to kind of give my brain the novelty that it kind of desires so that I can feel a little bit better about myself and my life rather than just um he almost splashed me <laughs> um rather than just following the same thing and feeling bad about it because these emotions pop up for a reason these kind of things these thoughts and feelings pop up for a reason you know like I was kind of feeling guilty whilst I was in it because I I didn't really feel like recording yesterday because after that video I felt like it was forced and I didn't know what video I was going to do and I kind of had some ideas and I tried to write out a script for it but it just turned into this big brain dump and then I ended up watching like some other YouTube videos that kind of were talking about burnout and like kind of similar topics that I was kind of feeling and then I was realized like oh this is like spark something in me and I kind of have to realize that rather than just like ignoring it and trying to continue doing what I was doing like things have to change things evolve like as soon as you think you have an answer in life life's like actually no we're gonna turn it this way I found it so like funny like whenever I would do like a video like one of my videos like how and why I track my weeks literally the week after I did that I just stopped tracking my weeks and I felt fine about it but then I was like I just put out this video about tracking my weeks and now I'm not doing it anymore but it felt, it felt kind of funny how I changed um, that. Sorry if like the, this um, view or this recording is kind of bad because I, I'm not used to it. That's what I'm going to say. Um... Oh God, uh, I just I just have anxiety now because I saw so that guy that was there before when I was talking like way down there when I stopped talking for a while, I was walking up the hill. So he's someone that I'm doing a, a play with. He's someone that I like quite a lot and he has similar thoughts to these sorts of things, you know, very into spirituality and kind of deep thinking and that. And now I'm like anxious, I'm like, oh God, what am I, before I was just like thinking, what am I gonna say to him when I see him tonight? What am I going to say when I see him later? Like, oh no, he's going to see the YouTube channel. He's going to see it. He's going to watch it. And and what's going to happen? <laughs> you see, now that I've expressed that, now that I've got it out, I can make fun of it, make fun of myself for being anxious. And I think this is kind of what I needed. I knew deep down I didn't want to do this. But I was like, I need to change up my schedule. I need to change up what I'm doing just a little bit. Even if it's just for this video to kind of change up the routine to kind of give fresh life to these 
kind of comes to this content and to what I was doing in my day to day because I do want to continue this I do enjoy doing this and geez I do that I just noticed I do that movement where I like block my face or like block myself off like that whenever somebody is coming and I feel a little bit insecure about what I'm saying or what I'm doing God interesting and what I realized with my other videos that are getting quite a bit of views and that and getting a lot of attention that people are resonating with more is that it's when I'm raw, when I'm like talking about something that's deep and meaningful to me, but then I'm also sharing like my awareness of it and how I think about it and what I'm doing to try and change it and move forward. Now it's really raining. Um, but I think that's what I'll leave it with because that's mostly what I wanted to say. I just wanted to kind of get out these thoughts. It's a bit random, it's a bit haphazard, but that's the main idea that I wanted to get across. And thank you for watching if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.